EA are bringing the goods today. We've just had the role for Fancy FC SPC. The app reviewers on the channel already. There's an icon player pick, including Team of the Year icons. And as well as that, the big man Smolarek, Fancy FC hero, is in the building as well. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Now, me and Smolarek, we've got a bit of a love hate relationship last year. I packed his World Cup card, the 88. And he just didn't quite click, you know, certain games was unreal. The next game he was flopping shots left wide all over the place. But this version here, Fantasy FC is upgradable and is linked to final. If you know anything, let me know down below in the comment section while you're down there. Smash that cheeky like button. But the boy smaller is here, four star, four star, high, medium, five foot seven, straight away. The play styles, rapid plus and press proven plus. Could work out really well here. We got first touch, relentless, quick step technical, and power header. No finesse shots, power shot. Maybe power shot would have been nice, but in regards to ball carrying, we've ticked, we're ticking all the boxes. Like we should be fluid on this football pitch. The agility, the balance, the dribbling stats alone are amazing. Pace is great, same with the shooting. Strength and aggression are there. In all honesty, he looks fantastic on paper. Let's see if he delivers in game though. Could play as a center forward and left wing and I believe the price is about 250, 260K around there. So reasonably priced in regards to upgrades, only a plus two is possible and we need Feyenoord to clutch up. Hopefully they do. I do a little deep dive towards the end of the gameplay, see if I can find out if they've played today. If they have, I believe it counts by the way. So if Feyenoord have already played, and they've not won. I believe it counts towards this man's games. But enough waffling. Roll for SBC. Oh, mate, she's unreal. Okay, focus. Gameplay. Let's go. All right, come on then. Big Smolarek in the building. Eusebio's been moved out to that center forward position. Smolarek is central down the middle. Hopefully the speed, the dribbling, and the finishing is going to be lethal. And I'm going to be loving this card. Rolfo, Eusebio. One touch Smolarek. Stride now. Okay, you know what it is? He's a stocky geezer. He's a big man. Look at the size of him, boys. He's not going to get bullied, that's for sure. Doggy, lovely read. Counter attack should be Smaller X bread and butter. We found him. Oh, my opponent stepped up with Cannavaro. Come on now, Smaller X. You should have the speed and power. You do. Travella finish. Happy days. We get that goal seven minutes in. The stockiness. I am intrigued to see how it kind of like um almost maybe might complement the dribbling. Hopefully it does. And he's still able to glide across the pitch. Stride, my son. Sergio. Feeling good. Smaller act. Give me that movement through the middle. One touch. Get that technical or controlled sprint going. He doesn't feel super, super quick and cracked. Or as quick and cracked as I expected. But rapid plus is nice. Left stick. My opponent doesn't know where we're going. Neither do I, apparently. <laughs> Eusebio. On your bike. That works. Roll for now. Oh, she's a demon. Into that boy Smolarek. A couple of step overs and use that rapid. Truly, truly stride. I feel like you might be a little bit let down by the controlled sprint and left stick. Especially looking at the stats. I was expecting to feel a little bit more quicker and a bit more cracked than I do. But I'll stop complaining for now. He has got a goal already and we're not doing anything horrifically bad. Let's just see if he can uh, truly step up and start to shine a little bit here. A debut Hattie would be nice. Rolfo, a little bit of, a pet, a little bit of speed there. Smolarek. Ah, okay, that's ambitious. Okay. Okay, big man. Okay, big man. All the way now. Stride. That's it. Big touch. Keep going. Oh, he's allowed me a chance. Oh, my days, bro. I thought Furla Mendy blocked him, you know. I thought Furla Mendy blocked him. That's a little bit more like it, though. We're looking quick. We're looking powerful there. Uh, and in all regards to uh, the left stick, felt pretty quick and snappy to uh, beat the turn and take on Mendy. But the finishing lets me down, even though the angle was tight. We need to stay switched on, by the way. My opponent, I think, might be on like a new RTG or something because he's just got tons of the Academy Evo cards, but he knows what he's doing on the sticks. Roll for a fizzle. Touch is nice. Step of is also nice. He's looking quick. Into Eusebio. On a green time finish. Come on now. Big man Vieira. Smaller act turn. Oh, he's battling in the middle there. Get a little bit feisty. Sergio playing. That's it. Big touch here. In space we go. Finesse shot territory. Gets the brace. We get a 3-0 lead here. Two goals and assists so far. I'm thinking the give and go getting behind style is what this man uh, is truly going to shine at. Uh, in regards to like, the actual dribbling, in small doses, 
pretty pretty dangerous, pretty clinical. The left stick and controlled sprint isn't half too bad, but I don't think you should be overdoing it. Utilize step overs and the rapid plus. That ball rolls nice. Controlled sprint is enough. We've got the physicals. Almost gets sweaty and cut it back. Roll throw, that is a huge interception. Into Sergio. Oh, it's a decent ball. Skill cancel. Oh, and again. For good measure. Ah, oh, no. Pushing for the debut. Oh, the first half hat here. My opponent just about stops me. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got the price a little bit wrong in the intro. Foot bins updated to 376k. That honestly might be because of the fluctuation of fodder prices to do with the icon player pick. And, of course, Rolfo. A lot of fodder demand is needed tonight. So, fodder's probably gone up a little bit. But 376 isn't too bad. Considering the prices of some heroes that have been dropped so far. To be fair, Julie was uh, an unbelievably cheap price. But Ricardo Cavallo yesterday. Mate, arm and a leg for that one. Rolfo, big touch, smaller wreck. Linking up with Eusebio. Provider again, all the way, all the way. I can't stand it when they do that, man. Oh, he's fluffed it. <laughs> Switched off for a second, give me the quit. Two quits, come on now. We're dominating, we're flying through foot jabs, Wallies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold up, smaller wreck. Is my opponent even playing? What's going on here? That was ridiculous, by the way. Uh, I don't know what my opponent's playing at. Is he that shell-shocked by how good that was? And he's had enough. Okay, nil-nil rage quit. But what was that from Smolarek? The speed, the power. Bro almost broke the crossbar. So trying to think of comparisons for Smolarek, honestly, not many are coming to mind. There's not many players on this game that have an average and stocky body type with crazy dribbling stats and very nice play styles to aid the dribbling. Like, Puskas, potentially, but I don't think he's quite average and stocky, but similar kind of height and similar kind of feel in game. It's probably the closest comparison I can make, which is a great comparison for Smolarek because Puskas is crazy. Four-star, four-star, I love. And I'll tell you what, as a getting behind powerhouse, this man is dangerously good. Like, really, really solid. I can't fault him. I will say the dribbling stats at time maybe doesn't, like, live up to it. Maybe doesn't feel as fluid as you'd expect with the press proven, the technical, the rapid... But if you're truly doing it in little small bursts and not trying to overdo it, you're going to be fine with him, man. Your beat play is easy. He's got physicals. Stamina is okay. I don't think that would be really, really be much of an issue in all fairness. He might be tired come, I don't know, the 180th minute in extra time. But the speed, the shooting, lethal. That left foot is an absolute cannon. So uh, make sure you're pinging shots on there. I quite like him as a link-up player as well. Receive the ball back towards your opponent's defenders, turn in, make it a pass out wide, and then getting in behind. Uh, it definitely has potential. And in regards to upgrades, Feyenoord, once again, I don't know a lot about... Uh, did I say Turkish league football earlier? Jeez. Uh, about um, <laughs> Eredivisie. They're second. They're second, and as it stands, they're unbeaten in a little while. So, potential's there. They did play today, and they drew to all with PSV, which might be the toughest game that they have, considering PSV are top and unbeaten. So, a draw, not the end of the world. Two goals, potentially towards the 11. Let me know, Eredivisie fans. Can Feyenoord clutch up, and will this man secure an upgrade or two? Hopefully two, but I'll take one at this point, because if he gets one... Yeah, the price tag's definitely justified. By the way, the price tag as it stands, I think, is still justified. Really enjoyed the card, and he's a fantastic striker. Um, yeah, can't say much more about it. Let me know what you think down below. Also, if you want to check out the Rolfo SBC review, that is on the channel. Make sure to sub if you're new around here. We're on the road to 20k, which is a crazy number, but we're getting closer. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll catch you later.